This is NBN Network Media News for all races connecting you to the world. Development uh, as we progress. We're right now. This is what. And uh, as soon as uh, I got um, the governor rang me on the phone, I congratulated him and the other uh, that organized the operation. We spoke. Uh, we spoke with the governor. I congratulated him and I congratulated the army uh, that organized the. Uh, you know the operation and settlement of the people or of the protectors and getting the uh, getting the children. Um, the military is very strong. I think they are sufficiently motivated. Uh, the governor, I'm very impressed with, with the governor. Uh, he has been uh, uh, you know, up and doing since it happened. And uh, I congratulated him that the children have been uh, successfully recovered. But we are doing our best. Um, we don't only close the borders. Um, we found out that uh, still, somehow, the, the terrorists who the abducted still get weapons and ammunition. They still take people hostage. They are collecting millions of naira. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and some of the things we may not say. We don't. I don't want to compromise the security and the efforts being put by the law enforcement agency. But really, we are acutely aware of our responsibility. Our responsibility is to secure the country. So we have a lot of work to do. But I'm of course I know their job. Um, I, I meet them. We have security meetings from time to time. I'm very clear. They, are, they must be very clear of my instructions. Their efforts are not good enough for me. Um, our responsibility, as I said, is to secure this country for all the students to do their businesses without uh, any problem. We haven't achieved that yet. But we keep on trying Myself. to be loyal to this country. Um, so I have got it. I must not advance any excuse for failing to fulfill. With the insecurity, I'm extremely worried about it. And I hope next year it will be different. Those among the law enforcement agencies that remain in charge will be extremely busy. Thank you very much. And then, uh, like I told you, we are from the bus, and the buses are there. 
and uh, the children, there are 344, like announced by the state governor, Aminu Masari, and he has assured that adequate arrangement has been made to take care of all their needs at the moment. He also consoled with the children, telling them that they should exercise patience. He apologizes to them for what happens to them. I spoke with some of them. They, uh, they, they were actually in an emotional mood, even though so many of them are very, very happy that they are back home. But the governor assured them that they will be taken care of. They will be treated. One interesting thing is that I spoke with one of the boys who told me that I asked him if he will be willing to go back to school. He told me that uh, unless if the government will provide all the necessary security in the school premises, he has fed up. He is not even interested in going back to school. But some of them say they are really waiting to go back to school and continue their studies. So as it is now, the state government house is filled up with both residents and parents of these uh, adopted children. And any moment from now, they will be taken to, to the hospital. And earlier, I uh, visited uh, Hatch Camp, where I was designated for the treatment of these children. And I've seen a number of doctors. They are right there waiting for the arrival of these children so that they can start uh, checking them and start treating them on any possible disease. I think that some of them have sustained some virus, some minor, minor injuries, which the state government assured that they will all be treated and that adequate arrangement has been made to take care of them pending when their parents will come to take care of custody of them. A bit uh, from uh, correspondent Idris Jibrin reporting live to the reception of the kidnapped government science secondary school boys from Kakara. So we'll bring you more detail masks will be given to them and those kind of protocols will be followed since we are in the middle of uh, cases rising again in, in, in the country. Any idea? Again, um, we don't have that indefinite indication that that will happen yet, but I should think that all of those will be taken care of. I haven't seen a single one of them, of course, uh, with a mask uh, or any of the sort, even the, uh, just maybe just some of the ministers are uh, Uh, the procedures from now 